All right. I just finished episode seven, and I'm going to be frank. Uh, that episode sucked. And I'm going to tell you why. And this is... If you don't tune into my other videos, I will refer you back to a video where I talk about Hermione, and I talk about other characters in literature and or movies. Excuse me. Uh, where... They are too strong for the story being told and or their strength would move the story forward faster than the author or storyteller wants the story to be moved forward. That is the case with Eleven. Eleven is so powerful but that a lot of the issues we have seen in episodes one through six could have easily been solved by her. So they dangle her in front of us like maybe she'll join the group, maybe she'll join the group. But they want to keep her away because they want her to ultimately be the secret weapon. Which, it makes it hard. Why even put her in the season until the end? Why put her in before that anyway? Because these stupid side stories where... And just off the bat, I, the other reviews haven't really been spoiler territory. But I'm going to have to spoil this terrible episode. Alright? So... They've essentially turned Eleven into, well, Eleven and uh, Roman, the other gifted child, into Professor Xavier and Magneto, except they're reversed, right? So Eleven can lift things and Roman can get in people's heads. So they essentially stay in this Ninja Turtles lair. And by Ninja Turtles, I mean like in the first Ninja Turtles movie, they had the Foot Clan and they stayed in this layer where all these abandoned kids stayed and they learned how to rob people and all this other nonsense and that's essentially what their hideout looks like so there's this homeless british child who is supposed to be a little older than 11 and she's leading a gang of adults bossing them around telling them what to do and she's going on a killing spree and she's trying to convince 11 that the people that wronged her need to die. It's essentially an X-Men storyline, which is absolutely ridiculous because you have to think the first season of Stranger Things was so creative and it's innovative. And it's hard to believe that this is coming from the same people. This is ridiculous. Um, why is... Eleven more cognizant all of a sudden. Like, why does Eleven not know easy words, but she can read very intelligently and have very intelligent conversations when it comes to right and wrong with this group of people? This episode is all over the place. And there's another thing that happens towards the end of the episode where Roman is hiding everybody. She's going like full-blown evil Professor Xavier and she hides everybody but it shows like earlier that her 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 power is like directional so she can like focus it on one person so she can't even see all the cops right she's not even seeing all the cops but she can still manipulate their heads which makes no sense that at some point your power has to have some type of I can see you I can harm you but if you don't know how many cops there are how are you in everybody's head that just doesn't make any sense to me. I I need this episode to make sense because Stranger Things is such a fantastic concept and this is a pretty good season overall, but this episode is just all over the place. I don't understand what they wanted to do with this other than set L up to be the hero that comes back and saves the day when she had the power all along. If you didn't want her to have the power all along, you shouldn't have written her to be so strong in the beginning. Because now you're just doing the same thing that I complain about in literature where you make a character overpowered and you don't know what to do with them after that. Because this is ridiculous. We're not talking about the Demogorgon. We're not talking about Will. We're not talking about um, how to protect the city. All we're talking about is this nonsense about whether she should go on a killing spree with Roman, uh, whether they should live their lives together, as rebels, this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna act like this episode didn't happen and I'm gonna hopefully enjoy episode eight. So that's it, bye.